Everyone's just going mad, trying to come through the doors. Might have to take your shoes, darling. <laughs> For like 5K. OK. <laughs> He's been sliding in the DMs. I wasn't prepared for this. What's happening? It's missed. As you know, I'm the rapper that's mad about anything that's got four wheels. I'm taking some time to go and talk to the mandem from all walks of life, music, sport, entertainment. So listen, we're going to get into some deep chats. Then we're going to be putting a bet on and going head to head on the go-kart track. You know me, I'm a Crips man. If they lose, I get their shoes. If they get wrecked, I get their Crips. Listen, if they win as well, well, it's up to them. But I'm not too worried about that. Welcome to Driven. This episode, I am having it with Miss Banks, the South London rapper and TikTok sensation. So listen, we're gonna have a bit of chat and then we're gonna start taking it to the track. Miss Banks, I'm sorry. I'm a very competitive geezer. Let's have it. Give me your shoes and let's get to business. My first car was the A-Class. I used to speed down the streets of South London. I was whizzing it up. I've never driven a race car before. I don't know if I'm going to lose my shoes. I'm hoping I don't, because I actually like them. I got a surprise for him. So today, we have South London's finest. The one with the biggest bank statements. <laughs> Miss Banks. I like that, that intro. You like that one? Slapped. So yeah, man. Bank statement. Mm -hmm. The EP. Yes. I've been vibing to it. What got you into rap? I always loved music. I come from like a very music oriented family. My dad's brother was in a grime group back in the day called Essentials and they were a big deal like. And they had this song, State Your Name. Mm, where are you from? South. Anyway, you're going to hold it down. Anyway, oh, it was yeah, a, yeah, yeah. I remember that tune. Yeah, yeah that course. was a big tune. Yeah, yeah so that, tune. that was my uncle. And yeah, he just put me onto music from time ago. So like, I was like 11, I'll come to my nan's house, all the mandems in the house, like they listen to Bear Beats, like going back to back. I've always been like in awe of just the culture and I've always watched it growing yeah. up. Do you know what I mean? It's very much embedded in me. So yeah, man, bank statement. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning behind that name? Well, to be obviously, it's a play on Miss Banks, but the actual surprising element of it is that, you know, like when they ask for proof of identity, they always ask for utility bill or like a bank statement. And I felt like when you listen to the EP, it's proof of who Miss Banks is. Um, I'm respected. Yeah, and also you're probably getting to the money, whatever, da, da 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 But really and truly, if you talk about me as an artist and you want to get to know me, I always say listen to the EP. But that's where I really got it from. Oh, what what you been buying off bank statement card? No, you <laughs> get me. It's gone off. I bought this little number. Uh, the bossy. Is that what's going well, on? It's not a little number because yeah. It costs quite a bit. And that's beautiful, man. And then obviously, you know how the girls be doing. I got my little Shanae now. This is one of my little So listen, one question. How much do you pay for something like this? Because obviously I'm not a bag man like that. For like 5K. Okay. <laughs> Great, jump this... up. I try not to splurge that. Like, my friend knows. I actually try not to splurge. But like, it's just a rapper in me. Sometimes I want to get a little drip. Yeah, it's the image. But yeah, you're always shining though. You're actually known for dripping because every I time I see man. you, you're iced out. What do you think the most you've spent on one item of jewelry? Ooh. So this ring cost me a 50K. What? 50K, and that's all because of, see these diamonds around the outside, they're all like GIA certified. So I got certificates Guys, for all the Guys, this is a different type of flex and I wasn't prepared for this. You get me? And it's like... Um, he makes my spending look small, but it's definitely shining. Yeah. You're making me want to spend some more money. So listen, I see you on the socials mm -hmm. with Big Nicki Minaj. So what <laughs> go on there? Yeah, it's so mad actually. Um, one day randomly she just tweeted one of my lyrics. Crazy. How did that feel? I know that I felt was, mad, and it? I was Come going on. mad. And it was so it was so nuts because the night before I had a show in like Liverpool or something and I was watching her in the hotel, like she was in some film with Cameron Diaz. Then the next morning I woke up getting bare congratulations. I was like, why am I getting congratulated? They're like, oh, Nikki tweeted one of your lyrics. Couldn't believe it. That's crazy yeah, still. So, so what, mad. have you linked up with her and whatnot? Too? Yeah, so I actually toured with her in the UK in 2019. Uh. Yeah. That all came from her seeing my song and then tweeting the lyrics. Yeah. It was dope. Like, it was my first time doing an arena tour. Do you know what, yeah? She's such a legend to me. So, like, I'm a fan first, but, like, yeah, she's mad cool. Like, we went out together in West, mad shut down. Obviously, you could imagine, like, come through the back, everyone's just 
going mad, trying to come through the doors. Crazy, but she was super chill, like, super chill. We had a couple shots, you know, we vibes. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. You gotta let me know if you link the kid again. You know, yeah, but she's in town. Know, get some bottles in. <laughs> so obviously, you popping on TikTok. Yeah. There's a lot of lookers. Yeah. Music's popping. Mm. New EP. Mm. What's the DM saying? Like, he's been sliding in the DMs. You had any ones that you get me? The DMs is lit. Lit? The DMs is lit, so yeah. So like goes down in the DM? Yeah, sometimes. But I'm single, though. Oh, you single? Yeah, I'm single. And I'm not, I don't think I'm trying to mingle that much, so. How much people have you led on then? <laughs> <laughs> but what I'd say what I'm looking for, yeah. I'm looking for a guy that's already kind of lived his life a bit. He's done his thing. And he's ready to like, just stack his paper and have like, his one partner. That's the vibe I'm on. So if you're serious, I like the kid. There's cues. <laughs> There's cues. The show's called Driven. Yes. It's not just about the driving side of things, you know what I mean? It's about yeah. what motivates you. I'm a very goal-orientated person. I'm very much into manifesting. Mm -hmm. And like, I make vision boards every year. Oh yeah, I respect that. I print out pictures of stuff I want, and I also edit some stuff. So like, I would do stuff like, before I had a million views, I would take a screenshot of my video and then change the views to one million, okay. or like change my yearly stream to a big number that I want, put a picture of the car that I want. Like, I think the first time, when I first done that time ago, like 2017, I wanted an A-class or something. And yeah. I put up an A-class little LV bag. At the time, it felt so, now it's like, that's so dumb, it's so small, but at the time it felt a bit far yeah, away. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, it does give you that drive anyway, having them type of goals. And they get bigger. First it was one million, now it's 10 million, then it's yeah. next 100 and whatever. But um, I just keep pushing and the, yeah, the vision boards really help. Race time. <sighs> Gotta blow off some steam. Blow off some steam, it's that time. Obviously, are you ready to race? Yeah. A couple of rules mm -hmm. that I've just got to run you by. Yeah. If you lose, I take your shoes. If you win, you are choose whatever. I get your ring. Is that what's going on? <laughs> I'd say if I need to win this one, it's not a joke. So you what? know what, them Pradas are all right though, anyway. Oh, you think you're getting these? What do you mean? One second, I bought these for you. Ah. The strip off 3.8s, bad boys. <laughs> 3.8? 3.8s, but they're actually like six inches. So I wore them after carnival to Megan Thee Stallion's after party. She was dancing in these? Yeah. She loved them too, so like, it's like whoever touches them, they go a bit close to Megan as well. It looks like these are coming home with it, you know what I mean? These might have to hit the stand, you know what I mean? Let's not speak too soon. Welcome to the track, I'm Alex Jakes, Formula One commentator. 11 corners, two rappers, one winner. And on the starting grid today, it's the undefeated champion Mist versus the challenger, Ms. Banks. I think there's a chance I could beat Mist. Obviously, he's had a bit of practice on the track, but like, I'm gonna bring my A game, representing for the Gallum. I'm totally chatting shit. I don't think I have a chance at all. <laughs> I wish I could be a gentleman, but there's no gentleman in racing. Might have to take your shoes, darling. <laughs> Is there any type of seatbelt? What do you mean, seatbelt? <laughs> There's no seatbelts, there's no mercy. Miss wants those heels, Bags wants that ring. I want to be back at F1 as the lights count down. And they're off the line heading to turn one. Ah! Banks screaming because she wants to go faster as Mist eats dirt off the grid. You got it, man. Oh, but he makes his way around the outside as he overtakes on the straight before <laughs> corner three. That ring is staying on the finger for now as Miss Banks' heels edge closer to the shoe rack. <laughs> She's taking him on the straight, but I can't help feel that the Birmingham Bull might be playing with his food as he puts pedal to the metal once again. Ah! He's off. Missed one, banks two. I'm used to commentating on races featuring the greatest drivers in the world, and I've got to say, this is bang average. Come on. Please, come on. I can only maintain this level of excitement for a certain amount of time before I pass out. On to the final lap as Miss slows. Banks takes him. She's got one more chance to keep those heels as she careers off the road and buries herself in the barrier. <laughs> if it wasn't over on lap one, it certainly is now. You better check the bank statement because you're going to need some cash to buy some new shoes. That's your lot. Miss wins. Banks, get your creps off. Oh, so let's go. Oh. No, you don't well. That was sick. Like, that's a mad adrenaline, you know. I can't believe it. 
When I when I crashed, darling, I wasn't. Darling, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you know what? Take the shoes, yes. At least you ain't got to learn how to walk in them now because you won. I ain't looking to put these on. These are for the mantelpiece. You know you got to sign these bad boys. I will. Just let everyone know I was here. You get me? So. The pleasers. Now, nah, but you held it down, though. No? Thank you. I think I represent for the nah, girls. Now you represented. That's how it gets, man. Now, nah, but I respect it. I've done it again, anyway. And I'm out. Miss Banks, the gentleman in me went out the window. Come on. You think you was taking this ring home, darling? You had to hold some smoke like everyone else does. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see anyone else. Come down here and get absolutely smoked. Anyone. Name it. Tag them. Find them. Let them know. I want it. Let's have it. So, miss, you can have my pleasers, a.k.a. the 3.8 Stripper Hills. Signed, M.B.